Hey folks, I'm Dravain Glory, and welcome to a new campaign in Napoleon Total War. As you can see, we're going to play the Russians this time. So, fresh from our failed two runs through the Italian campaign, hoping that playing as a, a nation with research and everything that goes with it will help this time. Um, I've played the Russians before a long time ago. I'm trying to remind myself what I did think. Came down after the Ottoman Empire, just because I thought they were at war with me when I saw they were red. Um, but obviously we'll be allied with the, F the Austrians and the Prussians, I'm waiting for the French. So anyway, let's check out our armies. I think the armies start a bit all over the place. We've got Bucks Holden. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Out in the cold. And we've got some more cav and guns in there. So we'll link you two together. And then we've got Benningson. Don't have any guns. And Kutuzov. Here, right, okay. Uh, there's a couple of small groups of forces down here. Right, okay. Loads of guys back in Moscow. Don't think we've got any fleets. No. Okay, then. What's the diplomatic situation? Very friendly with the Austrians. Prussia are indifferent, but we're trading. Ottomans are unfriendly. United Kingdom. Request a trade agreement. Excellent. Minor nations. We get trade with Denmark and Norway. Good. Who else? Sweden, of course. Swiss, Württemberg, Italy, Bavaria, and the Batavian Republic. We're at war with. Okay, I could trade with the Ottomans until uh, I attack them, if I attack them. We'll leave that for now. Okay, so what do we want to do with these armies? We'll leave Kutuzov at the front. Do I want to be nice to Prussia? I've always got a real problem when I play Napoleon campaigns that I want to be his, uh, uh, be true to the historical campaign. So I don't like the notion of going to war with the likes of Prussia or Austria. Let's just concentrate on wiping out the French. What's our objectives actually? Victory conditions holds 12 of 60. Force alliance, a thousand. Okay, we'll, we'll go with the mission that's given us here to Force an Alliance and see how we get on. Request an alliance. 1800? No. Because I get a thousand for it, so well, it cost me 800. No, I don't want to do that. So we'll leave that as it is. Um, yeah. 
So then let's get Kutuzov's army. Back in towards friendlier territory. Can't get there without going through the areas where we'll get attrition. Let's just bring you down here for now then. And you Books Howden, you come down into here. Can you get there? Shouldn't be able to. We had troops here. We're going to move them up in that direction as well. And we've got Benningson. I need to get you moving to Vilnius. Now can you get there? Yes. And can you reach? No, you can't. So you just come down here for yeah, you come down here for now. You ah, did you not you didn't make it in? Damn it. Okay. The troops back here. I didn't actually mean to click there, but I did. So you'll take attrition. And you're in Vilnius. Right, fine. Agents, what do we have? Our gentlemen, who's the uh, college. It's a town. It's a town. Well, that's commercial centre, industrial centre, intellectual centre. There it is. There. And let's go ahead with the national debt. I reckon. That reminds me, I'm also able to uh, negotiate or trade uh, technologies. Where's a spy? There. Yeah, you come over here for now then. In case we do decide to go after the Ottomans. And as I said, let's see what we can do with our good friends Austrians. Uh, technology. We can't offer anything. How about fire in advance? Would you give me that for nothing? No. Okay. So do we not? We don't have any tech, I suppose. We can't offer anything to anybody. Okay, so... Let's get some infrastructure underway here. So basic roads, Vilnius, the same Kamenets, and Kiev. We'll go with all that. Uh, I've still got two and a half thousand left. What can I build in here? Can build the barracks. Hmm. I think to be recruiting here to start with. Or somewhere around here. Everywhere just got the tax office at the moment, it seems. So let's start building up Kiev. 
and we'll just go with the cantonment for now. Oh, we could get the iron foundry as well. Do that and that. And uh, put some money into infrastructure back here. That's not too expensive. Let's get the roads underway there too. And commercial centre. That's 600, I can't afford it now. The gunsmith, I don't think I want to go for that. See if we can't get something. Stables. It does give a wee bit more wealth. What else do we have here? The farms. I think I'd rather go for the farms to start with. But let's see if we can get farms out at the front. Because it gives you extra extra replenishment in the region. Oh, it's, we've already got farms here. That's the Ottomans. Don't want to be spending my money on them. Farm here. Okay, so we don't have anything there, and that's why we can get the farm. We'll spend the money there. How much are we going to make next time? Five and a half grand. Lovely. I think we can move on then. We've looked at diplomacy, we've got research underway, six turns. So let's end the turn. I think we might turn this off. Okay. Although nominally independent states, the German lands along the eastern banks of the River Rhine are but mere pawns of the so-called Republic of France. Their lords bend the knee to the Grand Emperor and kiss his boots like any other of his lackeys. There's no time for diplomatic bean counting. In this great war, you stand either with us or against us, and they have chosen. We must, in all aspects, regard these territories as French possessions. Cool. Um, okay, let's get our armies sorted out. So up here, you get into Vilnius. Can you reach there? Potentially. Are you going to stop just outside? You are. This was blue when I clicked. Never mind. Uh, that's okay there. We've got these troops down here. Just continue on your way. You need to try and get in somewhere. But I'm not sending you back to Moscow, so just keep going towards Smolensk. And that leaves us with uh, Kutuzov. Yeah, you keep heading back in this direction. Get you some more men. Books out and you're in there. You just need to load you up with infantry now. One more battery of guns. We can live with that. Bennigsen, you made it into uh, Vilnius. Okay. The spy will leave where he is. And the gentleman is busy. Plus one to research. And four research skill already. Okay. Good. I, want, I don't want to start recruiting any more troops at the moment until I get all my armies together and I see what I actually have. We've got these going up. Kamenets. I'm 
Let's uh, do the smart way. Obviously, in Moscow is where we get most of our income at the moment, so let's invest in here. Court of Justice would, let's see, plus 10% to region tax rate. This gives us plus 15, so an extra 5%. about St. Petersburg. Yeah, if we go for the magistrate there, that gets us an extra 5% tax. Yeah, plus 5% goes up to plus 10% at half the cost. So we'll go for that. And we've still got 4,000 left. I just bang it into Moscow while I can. Yeah, I think we'll go with income generation just now. Having said that, we can get income from the likes of the pastures. Plus 53 gen wealth. Let's just do that. Um, supply post to the market. I think we'll go with the market back here. An industrial centre, the manufactory. And um, we can't afford the classical university now. We might go for that eventually. You're building up as it is. And this is in Novgorod. I think we like to focus more on St. Peter. Uh, yeah, St. Petersburg for now. So here. Uh, again, we'll go with the market. Supply posts will be further forward. Can't afford that. Um, that's a different region. Is that all the, what we have in here? Ingria. It's hard to see. That border runs right along there. But I like to Sweden, so I shouldn't really go and attack them. Okay. Uh, so we've got some money left. If we come down to Kiev, we can't afford that. Uh, this is in Kiev. Let's get the farms. Anything else in here? Don't think so. I'll focus down in this region for now, since this is where I'm likely to be campaigning to start with. Now the gunsmith here might be worth it. Reduces recruitment costs. Or we get the plus three replenishment. Okay, I'm unlikely to be recruiting too much here, I would have thought. We'll go with this, uh, the clearances for the wealth and the replenishment. And that's me skint. Okay, end of turn. <laughs> French Art Navy's feeling cocky. Why is Prussia sending its army in my direction? Okay, we've got another spy. Nice. And we've got some buildings complete. Let's get to our armies. You come and merge in there. Yeah, so just infantry needed for Buxhowden. Benningson, you're in there. Order. 
you need the artillery, which is here. You get into Smolensk for the moment. And Kutuzov. Actually, kind of a pincer movement against the Turks. Uh, you continue just to march through here. No attrition, it says. Okay. And our spy, new guy. We don't need a spy up there, I don't think. We'll send them down. Go and see what the French are up to. And you can stay around there. We'll be moving into their territory. Improve our line of sight a bit more. Yeah, keep coming down here. And you're where you are. Okay, and then Moscow. Definitely going for that. Don't need to go in for this small fort or anything like that back here at the moment. No, I'm not going to spend the money on that sort of thing. What can I build up here though? That's um, in Belgorod. We've got everything under construction here. Yeah, we've got four tons there. Two turns there, three there. Let's just start building up all these markets that we can then. Bump up our wealth as much as we can. A lumber mill. Yeah, it's worth it. Want to go for the, I can't afford the harbour again by four gold. Uh, but to be honest, I'm unlikely to be building a navy. If I do, it's going to happen later on. Novgorod. Let's bump up the magistrate. And down around here, how about Odessa? Should we get the barracks there? Um, or what we could do, I suppose, go for the gunsmith. Will I recruit though? I keep asking myself that question. Need to make sure that we're sorted in here. The supply warehouse would be useful. I'm likely to recruit from Kiev. I always seem to like to recruit sort of one province behind the front line. So Minsk would be the other area. We'll go with the cantonment here and probably get that cannon foundry as well. Oh, we can't get it there. Right, okay. Cantonment, yeah, we'll stick with that. Now we've got roads going up here. Do we have roads in Kiev? We do. And there. Odessa. Don't know. I'm going to in Belgorod. Make sure that the routes to the front are all in place. Odessa. Yes. There we go. And I suppose we can end the turn again. I didn't move everyone, didn't I? Yes, I did. Hmm. Should I go after Turkey? Or should I be true to my word and help out the Austrians? I need to 
That's pressure for an alliance again, that's what I forgot to do last time. And salary gained, plus one happiness for vulnerability. And we've got plenty of construction done. Okay, before I forget, diplomacy, Prussia. Request an alliance. You now want two and a half thousand. <laughs> oh well, it's only going to keep getting more expensive, I think, so we can afford it. We will accept. Okay. Want to get me some technology? Mm, probably not. I should maybe have actually asked for that as part of that negotiation for an alliance. Two and a half thousand plus. Uh, you give me some tech. Never mind. Ottomans. Hmm. I think I might want to go and deal with the French first. Maybe keep an eye on this. They could always declare war on me. I'll leave them for a couple of turns. Well, I'm building up my armies anyway. Uh, but I think if they remain at peace with us, I will continue to focus on France and helping out Austria. So, uh, you've got to go back up all the way around there. Unless we go through their territory. There's no right around there. Okay then, I'll maybe just leave you out in front, Kutuzov. And we'll just send troops out towards you as we recruit them. What do you have in here? Yeah, so maybe I'll actually start recruiting some infantry now. Have we finished our construction here? We have. So let's get us some musketeers. Just the three for now. Get hussars and Cossacks. Yeah, we'll just go with the musketeers. Up here. You're waiting for the artillery from Smolensk. Let's just get you in the move. Attrition be damned. Must be nearly the spring anyway. So that's bringing in a couple more of militia, as well as the guns. You can't recruit anything in there. So Minsk then, oh, we've already got that building up, a couple of tons it will be done. Okay, let's spend the 1500 Magistrate here and what's this? Oh, we could get a Manufactory. Can I spend any money up here though? Not yet. We can here, let's get the clearances. And the stud farm. Yep, why not? Can afford it, so let's do it. Okay. Well, I think I'll put a break in here. And we'll pick this up again next time out. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. 
and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.